Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. I am a 45 year old single person currently living in the Northern Virginia area. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping back by. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna to go over my March paycheck number one, and this is for March the 6th through the 19th. Um, as usual, I have uh, gone ahead and just wrote everything out just to save some time. Um, I've got my first category, which is my income, and my income is uh, $1,700, and that is bi-weekly, and that figure is rounded down. So the difference between um, what I budget and what I'm paid, I just keep in my checking account as a buffer. So moving on to my fixed expenses, um, the first expense that I have is my rent. I um, am, again, I live in Northern Virginia. I rent a basement apartment in somebody's home. It's kind of like a studio apartment. My monthly rent is $900, but I set aside half of my rent every single paycheck just to make it a little bit easier for me to pay. So my monthly rent is 900, but for this paycheck, I am going to set aside $450. Now, you'll never see anything in my budget like um, electricity or water, gas. I don't pay any of those things. My rent is a flat fee, and everything is included. The um, next expense is car savings. And for this paycheck, I'm going to be able to save $366.97. And if you're new here, I have a 2006 Honda Civic Hybrid and the hybrid battery is going out on my car and so I am saving to buy another used car. So for this paycheck, um, $366.97 is what I'm gonna be able to save. Next is my auto loan. Now this um, auto loan is for a car that I don't have anymore. I got into an accident, the car was a complete, complete loss. I am currently paying the balance due um, between what insurance paid and what was owed on the car. And my minimum biweekly payment for this debt is $207.69. My next debt is a credit card and the minimum biweekly payment for that is $165. Next debt is a personal loan, and the minimum biweekly payment for that debt is $100. Next is AT&T, which is my cell phone carrier, and that is $60 per month. Next is insurance for my car, and that is $122.36. Then I have Hulu, and Hulu is $11.99. Last fixed expense is Netflix, and Netflix is $15.99. So my total fixed expenses is $1,500. Moving on to my cash expenses, I have a food, and that is going to get $120 for this paycheck. So $60 per week. Then gas for my car is gonna get $60, so $30 per week. Carpool is actually not gonna get any money. I drove in the carpool last week and all the ladies that rode in the carpool gave me money for driving. And so I have enough to cover the next few weeks um, of carpooling because I will be riding, I will pay Whoever it is that's driving for the week, I'll pay them $5 per day out of the money that I made last week. Last is Fur Babies, and Fur Babies is only going to get $20. Um, the only thing I need for Fur Babies is a, a box of food for my kitty. My puppy's fine. He doesn't really need anything. And I found that she, I had been buying these, what was it, Fancy Feast. It was in a green box, and it was like the delicacy. And I found that she likes the grilled Fancy Feast just as well. And I can get a box of 30 cans of uh, food for $18 and some change um, instead of paying, what was it, $10 per week. 
So I'm going to buy cat food uh, this week. Probably too much information, but that's what I'm going to spend it on. All right, so moving on to my debt breakdown. So I'm going to go over my three debts um, and then tell you what my beginning balance is, the minimum payment, and then the ending balance for each debt. So the first uh, debt is the auto loan that I talked about a little bit ago. Again, paying the difference between what insurance paid and what was owed on the car. The beginning balance was $1,991.14. My minimum biweekly payment for this debt is $207.69. So that leaves an ending balance of $1,783.14. Next is the credit card. The beginning balance is $9,495. The minimum biweekly payment is $165, which gives me an ending balance of $9,330. Last debt is a personal loan. That balance, uh, beginning balance rather, is $12,700. The minimum biweekly payment on this one is $100, and the ending balance is $12,600. All right, so let's add this up. This is the one thing I didn't do beforehand was add these totals up. So $1,991.14 plus plus $12,700 was a beginning balance of $24,186.14. The minimum biweekly payment is for $72.69. It's the same every time. So we'll subtract for $72.69. Leaves me an ending debt balance of $23,713.45. So if, I don't know if uh, if you guys have been around for a while, you might know, but if you're new, um, beginning of 20, what is this, 2020? So in January of 2019, my beginning debt balance was, I think it was 60, was it 68,000? Maybe 69,000. I paid off a lot of money last year. So... Um, to be at 23, well, almost 24,000 is huge. I have really come a long way in the last year. Um, now, since I'm saving for another car, because I'm my car is not going to pass emissions, once I purchase another car, so I've got this paycheck I'm going to save, I have my next paycheck in March where I will save some more money for the car and then I'm going to purchase something. I have to have something by the end of March because my tags expire and the car will not pass inspection. So I've got to get something else and sell this car. So once that's done, then in April, I will, you know, go back to the kind of budgeting that, um, that I enjoy. So not just the fixed expenses and the cash expenses, but getting back into sinking funds again, which I am really excited about. Um, I don't know, let me, I've got my other book here off to the side, but just to give you an idea of some of the sinking funds that I had prior to having to save for this car, um, I did a sinking fund for car insurance, car maintenance, fur babies for their shots, car taxes and tags, renter's insurance, clothing. Um, I had a YouTube fund, beauty for haircuts and color, uh, gifts, Christmas, medical, and vacation. So I had a lot of categories and I really enjoyed doing the sinking funds. I liked watching the envelopes grow and to have all of that money in my safe just made me feel, I don't know, I it was a good feeling to know that I was able to not only save the money, but hold on to it and not blow it. So I'm really excited that I'm going to get back to um, to doing sinking funds. So in April, everything is going to start fresh. Um, I will have purchased another car by then, and I can get back to these categories. Maybe they... They might change a little bit, but I suspect that I'll probably stick with these categories because that's what's worked for me in the past. 
Um, so it is, I don't know what is today. It's Saturday, so it's March the 7th. I did a video the other day of my March monthly budget, and it had been a couple weeks since I had filmed, and I had been under the weather, I wasn't feeling well, and then work got crazy busy, and I just didn't have the time to film. So for the entire month of February, I didn't budget at all. I didn't write it down, and I found that I was swiping my card a lot, and I don't really have a lot of wiggle room. And so um, I am glad to be back on track again. I'm glad to be filming and sharing my budget with you guys. So I'm sorry that I was kind of AWOL for a few weeks, but I'm feeling much better. Things have kind of calmed down at work, and I can get back on track. Um, so that is everything, guys. That is my March paycheck number one budget. That's for March the 6th through the 19th. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.